welcome back. Do the very 23rd episode. Of Parents of the Dead. Yes. Now coming to you from... Russia. <laughs> I think? No, 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 no. Very unpopular. Okay, I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, still in Norway. Still in Norway, yes. Very popular, yes. yes. Um, we just discovered there's a still a squiggly red line. Yeah, squigglies are good. Yeah, they tell us stuff. Yeah, our squigglies is uh, like Kent Beck's failing tests of uh, 15 years ago. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Always leave your work with one failing test so you remember where you were. No, exactly. So we have some cheats, we have some dumb structure, and we have some dice. Yes. And these dice have a class. They're entry, they're rolling, and they're also being using and used. Yes, so we can basically make them visually pop. Mm-hmm. Somehow to indicate which dice are being affected. currently being used. Yeah, yeah. So let's uh, actionize a more punching gun, I guess. Let's do that. So uh, at the very beginning, uh, we are going to soch in um, the dice, and these are these are die zero and one. Mm-hmm. So we have dice, die zero. So this this is a set, right? Mm-hmm. So it's not uh, strictly speaking uh, ordered. No. So this might be make for flake tests. But I think maybe sets I, at this size are ordered. I yeah. I, I haven't checked, but this is my gut feeling. Especially in literal form. Yeah. Small sets in literal form, I think they are practically ordered. Yeah. We'll we will find out maybe. Maybe you try to can you check the type of that set? It's a persistent hash set. So that wouldn't normally be ordered, but no. this is still part of closure line. I think it uses very small data structure. For very small data structure, it just uses like an, an array. Hmm. Yeah. I think so. At least we have a die class and it's being used, it's using. Mm-hmm. And the same goes for the other die. I just want to throw in that, throw in there that you could also just make the die IDs a vector in the test because implementation won't know the difference. For sure. If it's flaky, we will do that. Yeah. So now they're being used, using, and then they have been used. Yeah. There you go. Uh, thank you, sir. And again, this will do, so will require no changes to the client. No, no, no. It's just a search in. Yep. A search in, a search in, a search in. And this is punching zombies. So... It's not per zombie anymore. It's just um, at the, it's like um, book book ending and uh, book ending it. Yeah. So we need to do concat, yeah. and then at the beginning we'll do four um, id die ids, mm-hmm. and we will do it this here. Yeah. This is like the cool kind of copy paste development where you just copy from your test. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yeah, that should be it, I think. Yeah, let's go try it. Let's we'll start a new round, <laughs> yeah. which I have to do manually at this point, but uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, you don't have to run a We just take a look at these two dice yeah. when you punch the zombie. I don't have to lock them. That's just for the rolling. So this, yeah. 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 Ooh, cool. They are pulsating, and I can use them over <laughs> and over again. Yeah. So that's the next... <laughs> and it died. And it died. <laughs> Oh, it's fun. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's that's good. We have now finished our turn, but we have not given the zombies a fighting chance. No. Because they're not allowed to do anything, and we are not preparing the next round. No. So let's do that first. So Preparing the next round? When you click the zombie, mm-hmm. you're finishing your turn, like we've said, mm-hmm. and then the die should roll. All of them should roll over again. Yeah. Any clamps should go away, yeah. and rerolls will be reset. Re- refilled, and another zombie enters the scene. Yes. So that's that's kind of finishing up the turn, and then later, of course, the zombie will also take their turn. Yeah. But that's for another episode. Yes. So let's uh, do some more finishing up. Mm-hmm. And uh, then we'll go to uh, our game test, because now we have finish turn. So it filters. Um, so when you finish your turn, it should be more events like prepare a new turn. Um, so we have like a command which finishes your turn. Mm-hmm. 
what what happens then? That's that's sort of the that's sort of the game's uh, decision. What happens when you finish your turn? And that will be several things. And I think maybe all of those things that happen when you finish your turn are just in this list. It doesn't have to be a separate event that will then have to be reified into more events or something like that. You just concat all of the events together. So I think. Uh, okay. Yeah. So so uh, all of the events that. Um, uh, finishing a turn uh, entails will be in this list okay. from this one command. So then I'll just uh, pick another one then. Yeah, just Re pick roll the dice. Exactly. Yeah, uh, that's something that happens. Mm -hmm. uh, re rolls all the dice, and then in my test, this will be locked, mm -hmm. and I don't care. You don't care it's about going, going the way. Mm -hmm. We're still finishing a turn. Yeah, but now we're looking for... Um, so, what's it called? It's called Dice Rolled. That's going to happen. Yes. And then I'm going to copy-paste me some stuff up here. It looks like this. So, die ID... It goes, yeah, roll ID, something, something. It needs to be a seed here then. Maybe since you uh, locked one of them, maybe just start with uh, the unlocking the locked die. Oh, sure. Because it has to be unlocked in order to, to actually roll. And that's called set die locked. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. This is a very good uh, point. And set die locked. Looks like this. Mm -hmm. So here I'll have my die zero and it will be locked false. Yeah. And then I don't need a seed after all. You made me do wasteful work. <laughs> yeah, I think except <laughs> you have to write the seed again. Great this <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, so um, I will do this and I will find perform command and here we have the finished turn and, and now what so this thing we're doing now we can iterate on pretty quickly because these are just using existing events so we don't have to do all the actionizing up the game blah 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 hopefully just <laughs> I, I'm, I'm glad that you're optimistic <laughs> I'm always optimistic okay I'm going to make a new finish turn interesting um, and yeah, I, I will okay, rename, I see, I see, yeah. I will do um, this, and um, this is punch target. Yes. Or so. deliver package of punch. <laughs> I can't resist that. <laughs> <laughs> like this. <Yeah. laughs> it makes sense to me. Yeah, very nice. Uh, target. I just pass the target, yeah. And then I will concatenate the, onto this the um, unlocking of locked dice. Mm -hmm. So we have set die locked here. And uh, I will have to do four. Uh, I, I think you can just take a hint from the line above and call just call a function. So unlock unlock locked dice. Yes, it's good. Or just unlock dice. Yes. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't really matter what their state is. They will be unlocked. It's, uh, well, I want to yeah, yeah, focus yeah, it yeah, down. But I just, yeah. yeah, but in the name of the function. Yeah, that's true. So the name of the function doesn't have to carry all the implementation details. That's true. So for each die in the game. Perhaps um, it should be called unlock locked dice in game. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being so helpful. <laughs> I'm trying to code on screencast here. Yeah, but I'm not coding, so I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. I'm going to ignore that and move on. <laughs> Remove. Uh, I want to filter the locked dice. Yeah. Then I will do set. Ugh. I need four cat again. <laughs> four cat again. <laughs> Damn you, four cat. Okay, yeah. maybe this time it's just yeah, map. Yeah, this actually works fine. Yeah, set dialogued game. Yeah, but why did you ID. replace four with map? False. You need map cat. Map, map cat. Map cat. Yes. Like this. 
It's yeah. Green. yeah, it's green. Very nice. And uh, so that's um, my test is lying. It says it re rolls all the dice and then <laughs> does something else. <laughs> Unlocks locked dice yeah. in the game. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yes. Um, so now we will lock this and we will punch this. And it is yeah. unlocked. Yeah. Excellent. Good. And then next, you're happy with that? Yeah. I'm not happy, <laughs> but I am content. <laughs> Remember to always appreciate what you have. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yes. Take care. Goodbye.